Okay, we're going to go uh, to our patient callers. Uh, we're going to go to Philip in Columbia. How are things in Columbia today, Philip? Rainy. Oh, yeah. Good. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. I, the question I have is I just moved here uh, and I put out a bird feeder about a week ago. Yeah. And I put, put suet in it. And mm-hmm. uh, I, the person who lived there before had a, had a uh, container of a uh, mixture of sunflower seeds and you know, regular seeds. And I used that. And nobody's come home. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. the end of the week and I, there's no birds. And I'm wondering right. whether right. I have the wrong combination or. Uh, you are you are feeding birds at the time of year when there is the most bird food for seed eating birds in the wild. Yeah. Um, so everything is producing fruits in the fall. So everybody's sunflowers, all the wild sunflowers, all the thistles, all of that stuff has has fresh seed on it right now. And basically, what we're doing when we're throwing bird seed out in the fall is we're putting slightly stale seed out amongst yeah. a banquet of fresh fruit. <laughs> and so it'd be like taking the one rotten banana out of a bunch. Are you going to yeah. go to go uh, fly away somewhere where there's no food to get a rotten banana uh, when you live in in a banana plantation? So. Um, yeah, be patient. Keep your food out. Um, some things surely will start to come to it in November, uh, especially like second, third week in November. You'll start to see that pick up a lot, and then all winter long you'll be pounded with birds. Um, sure. Suet, we usually um, – well, it, it's most important when it's really cold. Right. So I usually feed suet uh, December through February, and then don't worry a bunch about it after that. Um, but as far as seed, you can keep seed out all year. And once birds learn where your feeder is all summer long, they'll continue to come to your feeder. Um, I generally switch, uh, the food that I'm feeding a little bit in the summertime. Um, what I'll do is, uh, I, I like to use white pearl millet in the summertime. And I do that to try and encourage buntings. Uh, so painted buntings, indigo buntings, um, some things, uh, even goldfinches will come to the feeder even for that sometimes. Uh, but it's especially good for doves too. And doves are something that you can track all year long. They won't necessarily come to a tube feeder if you're feeding in, in something with a well, tube. Well, they see in the ground. They're all around my house. They yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's one of the main things you'll pick up in the summertime too. But, uh, you know, feeding in the summer, feeding in the winter – are usually a lot more productive than trying to feed in the spring and the fall because that's when all the food's available, insects in the spring, seed in the fall. Well, I sure appreciate it. I'll Phil, be patient. appreciate the call. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, Al. Yep. All right, we're going to go to Orangeburg. 